first question is, did you see Senator Obama's infomercial last night, and what do you think about it? Actually, I didn't see it. Uh, I was flying here to Ohio last night, uh, but I'm not sure I would have watched it anyway. Uh, I think that it's a product of a broken promise. He wrote, uh, signed a piece of paper when he was a long shot candidate saying that he would take public financing if I did. Uh, he looked into the camera twice and said he would sit down and negotiate with me before he made a decision. He obviously didn't mean it. He didn't tell the American people the truth. Now there's hundreds of millions of dollars in donations that are unrecorded and undocumented. And uh, I, it's very bad for America. One thing that's bad for America right now is the high unemployment rate here yes. in Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. We have a higher rate than the rest of the country. We just learned in Toledo we're going to lose another 800 Jeep jobs. What can you do as president to reverse this trend? Well, one, keep people in their homes, give them a new mortgage that it's affordable. I know one of the problems in Toledo, of course, has been in all over Ohio, frankly, in Dayton and Cleveland, everywhere has been the foreclosures. So we need to keep people in their homes. The second is clean coal technology is obviously very important. A third is the automotive industry, which affects Ohio so much. Flex fuels, hybrid, uh, um, battery powered cars. Give people a $5,000 tax credit so they buy one of these new automobiles. Create jobs, get our economy going again. Don't increase taxes and cut spending in Washington. But uh, look, this is tough. But the automotive industry and clean coal technology are two key elements in particularly Ohio's economy. One thing I have to ask you, since we're here in Ohio, Joe the Plumber has become such a huge part of your campaign. <laughs> Why is that? Joe the Plumber is a symbol of small businesses all over America. And what would happen to him under a Obama administration? They would raise his taxes. Right now, and although Senator Obama's plan shifts dramatically. The point is right now over half of business income would be small business income would be taxed under Senator Obama's plans. And uh, Joe the plumber wants to move forward and have wealth so he can create jobs and help the economy. Senator Obama wants to take Joe's money and give it to somebody else. The redistribution redistribution of income. That's bad for America. It's the far left liberal approach to economic matters which has failed in other countries and would fail here terribly. Speaking of taxes, your health care plan has been criticized because mm -hmm. it's been said that people would be taxed on mm -hmm. you know, the money they would get for health care. How do you respond to that? Why is your plan a good one? Well, um, first of all, American families would receive a $5,000 refundable tax credit. If they're receiving health care benefits, they would continue to receive them, plus the $5,000. And the money that the benefits they get would be taxed. 95% of people with health insurance provided by their employees would have more money, as opposed to Senator Obama's plan for a government-run health care system. And if you're a small business person and you don't have for your kids, you don't have for your employees his mandated health plan, then you're going to pay a fine. Here's, here's the difference. Senator Obama wants a government-run single-payer system like Canada and other countries. I want American families to have the money to go out and choose their health insurance. That's what that's all about. And it's obviously been very badly demagogued. To the financial crisis, it's obviously a huge thing in the election right oh, now. Yeah. Do you believe anyone should be prosecuted for getting us into this mess? There should be, well, I'm not, everybody in this country has the presumpt presumption of innocence until proven guilty. But there should be thorough, in-depth investigations. And if someone is uh, liable uh, for this mess uh, criminally, they should be prosecuted. But let me tell you who else is liable. That's members of Congress, the Barney Franks, the Chris Dodds, the Democrats, and, and some Republicans who defended Fannie and Freddie when it was obvious, of, because of an inspector general's report, that what they were doing was going to harm our economy terribly. I and others sponsored legislation to fix it. 
Senator Obama got the second most amount of money than any senator in history and never lifted a finger. So there are members of Congress who are direct co-conspirators in contributing to this collapse. Now, does it mean they're guilty of a crime? Not necessarily, but it does mean that they were taking the money and they were being influenced by Fannie and Freddie and they, were help, they helped cause this crisis that we're in. You have a long family history of military service and service to country. Obviously, that's influenced where you are today, um, politics and running for president. What else has led you to where you are? Mm, I think probably a defining experience I had in my life where I obviously was in prison and I learned to love my country. I understood how important it is to serve a cause greater than our self-interest. And I've always tried to put my country first. I have a question about schools. Yes. Obesity is an epidemic in our country, yet yes. when schools run into financial trouble, one of the first things they have to cut is fit ed, phys ed programs. So what would you do to reverse that trend? I would urge every, every parent to know the school lunch program, to know the physical education program, and we need more role models to be more active. Small story. I was in Miami. I met a young man who had lost 97 pounds because he was inspired by, by a thing called Shaq's Challenge. Shaquille O'Neal had been at his school, challenged young people to lose weight, to get in shape, and get fit. One of the small things, but I think it has a big impact. Get every athlete that's admired, every Ohio State football player, every uh, C Cleveland Cavaliers player, get LeBron James out and say, get in shape, get fit. Be like me. I think it could. Uh, it does have an effect because that's who these young people respect and admire. Female athletes, great athletes, as well as male. Senator McCain, they tell me our time is up. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. Thank you.